Documents that you have already reviewed may be updated from time to time as events unfold. The reader will notify you when that happens. Crime rate continues to drop. Yep. The Ministry of Security has presented latest numbers on crime statistics in the country. Never before have there been so few violent crimes. Yet, there was a bombing yesterday. Safety Bell. We've heard about this earlier, but what is it? The number of recorded criminal offenses decreased by 4.8% in comparison to last year. That's a lot. Wow, okay, what is this safety policy? What is this? The party is elected into the government. Safety bill is passed. Hey, this might be a good exercise in being a little bit critical about information that you get from the internet too. Just because they give you a graph like this doesn't mean that the party is responsible for the crime rate dropping. Correlation is not causation. Very important to remember. The safety bill is a collection of safety-centered laws and statutes created with the ultimate goal to protect the freedom of the nation's citizens. Central to the safety bill is the simplified, sped-up process of taking investigative measures against criminal suspects and their prosecution, as well as the provision of an increased budget for safety-related expenses. Stricter regulations concerning immigration and general travel. It also became mandatory to inform employers whenever an applicant or employee is an ex-convict or otherwise potentially dangerous. So, Tsong didn't read. They've made everything very, very tight. The Parge's peacekeeping mission. So there was a terrorist incident in 2008. Parge's a region torn by civil unrest for years by order of the previous government. But now the party, which is what the ruling party is called in this nation, it's called the party, <laughs> has fixed it. Yay! They're making things better. See, the big problem with trusting information on this site is that this is the party's website. Everything they say here is gonna be good about themselves. Our five pillars for a great nation. Safety, security, economy, commerce, values, tradition, migration, foreign affairs, education, and health. Everything on this website you can't take as fact. Whoa, that kind of looks like a current presidential candidate. <laughs> Robert Blaine, Prime Minister. Okay, this is not really related to our case right now, but it's good to get a little bit of background on our nation. Arthur Scott Gallagher, Secretary of Economy and Trade. Catherine Delacroix, Secretary of Security. So this lady might be who we'll be coming into contact with, cause security, we're doing security. She is known for the inception of the safety bill. Peter Faulkner, Secretary of Defense. So that's military. Okay. Cool. Projects, that's what we saw. Participate. How can I contribute to the nation's success? I can donate. I can volunteer. I can become a member or join the army of the nation. I think I am a member. Because I'm working for the government right now. Yeah, I am a member. Hmm, okay. Anyway, back to, uh, this. Yes, we were looking at this. This one. Yep, crime rates were dropping. And no, actually, that's it. There's nothing new about that. No information. Uh-oh. So this is all the information that we've gone about this person so far. I don't see anything new actually. Maybe we should go to listener? No. Are we missing something? Uh oh. Uh oh. I've been doing too much reading. Company products? Is that why there's a star here? 
Didn't I take this already? Yeah, I submitted it already. I don't need to submit this photo. What am I missing? Products? Jobs! Watergate Pharmaceuticals currently looking for suitable candidates. No! Oh, we are urgently looking for a new COO to replace the retired, formally appointed predecessor. Wow, they are not hiding this at all. Or maybe I was wrong and nothing stays in the family. Ouch. This is probably what she meant about quitting her job. Good. Currently, I'm thinking that our Miss Watergate underwent quite a radical change, don't you agree? Let's find out what happened in between those two lives of hers. What may have caused this radical shift? Yeah, cause she was a COO in a large company and now she's a artist. An anti-governmental artist. Many years of work experience needed to be a COO. <laughs> a traditionally oriented character with a mindset that is nevertheless open for new challenges. That is such an unappealing bullet point. Oh my god, that traditionally oriented? Mm. We offer challenges, a safe job, competitive salary, dynamic team with a friendly and cooperative atmosphere. Or you can also be a research intern. All right, cool. Ah, Cassandra's timeline. Ah, what did I say? She's 24. Now we have her birth date. All right, and she's interested in art, museum, activism. That's what she's like now. Yeah. But why did she become like that? Cassandra likes the targets. Is that a band? Painting? Alice in Wonderland. My cat Kikiko. Can we update her picture? Sure. Alright. Yeah, it's like Facebook. Woohoo! First day in freedom, far away from the shackles of Watergate Pharma. Ah! That's the day she quit. March 1st. About a month ago. What? Who's gonna pay for your stuff now? Mommy and Daddy won't like this. Listen, Jake, I am not Daddy's little girl anymore. My aunt already got me a lot of money. More than enough to pay for all my bills. Don't you worry about me. Uh, honestly, I don't believe that. I think her attorney boyfriend is giving her money. Despised puppets of the state, you have finally managed to destroy us entirely. There is nothing left to do but to congratulate you. These are my personal wishes to you from the deepest abyss of my heart. Fuck all of you government lackeys! Most painfully, Cassandra. Very strong government thoughts. Yeah, opposes the government vehemently. Well, well, Miss Watergate. We aren't too fond of you either. <laughs> Mary says, Sweetie, what's the matter? That totally doesn't sound like you. We haven't hung up for ages. You gotta get up from time to time. You feel much better. Mary, just shut your freaking mouth, okay? I'm not in the mood for your stupid act. I told you again and again. I cannot deal with this right now. This is conflicting with something that we haven't seen yet, so let's move on for now. Okay, you know what? I'm really sorry that I still care about my best friend. Oh, Mary's her best friend. No matter how often she decides to give me the cold shoulder. But in that case, that's in the past now. She started dating that guy in August last year. Okay. Yeah, she's in a relationship with her lawyer. That's that's a bit. <laughs> 64 likes. She is popular. The beholder actually wrote about me being freaking redeemed of this shit. But surprise, surprise, they had to mention the speculations over my parents buying me out. Makes the click counts go boom, doesn't it? Oh, so if she says it like that, maybe her parents didn't help her out. And that would actually make sense too, because I don't think she has a very good relationship with her parents. Yeah, that's what we read already. That's why there's a purple 
purple border, because we visited that link already. At least you're redeemed now. Want to blow off some steam together with a little late night shopping tour? So Mary and Cassandra, as of August 2016, they were still pretty good friends. Case closed! Congratulations, never had any doubts about it. Kiddo, you're my heroine, in both the heroic and the drug way. A thousand cams on the plaza, but no proof. We've shown the world this dirty surveillance machinery only exists to intimidate and to mislead the people into believing false promises. Cams for security? One big lie. Ah, Cassandra might be really against governmental surveillance, aka exactly what we're doing right now. <laughs> wow, I'm so happy for you. Let's have a party. Thanks, guys. Yep, yep. Yeah, I will totally write an article on our blog. Huh. The concert was amazing, so amazing that I just had to give my hair a little makeover. So without further ado, how do you like it? This is in reverse chronological order, so even in July of last year, she was already like this. Where did the change happen? Oh my god! What happened to your beautiful hair? Why didn't you ask me before going to a stylist? We could have gone together. Oh, there's Cassandra slowly slipping away. Cassie's going punk! Did mommy and daddy agree to that? XD. <laughs> So henceforth, Cassandra shall be known to the world as Cassarthus. I don't get it. <laughs> but a nickname? Yeah, that could be useful. An alias name. You know people on the web. So many names, so many identities. It's always good to record every alias. Then we can match data chunks to target persons whenever they are using them. Okay. That's the spirit, kiddo. Now, I'd like to invite you to our little activist group. Ooh, if you want to join us. Would be nice to have you with us for the protest on Freedom Plaza on Friday. Harrison O'Donnell. Hmm. Activist group. Is there anything more specific? Maybe that we can find. Just discovered this new band called The Targets. I love them. Who's coming along? Mary, I'm looking at you. Uh, punks? Not really my style, sorry Cass. Can we just go see the Cherry Cheeks sometime? They're not just some punks. Their lead singer is a real cutie, and they have this cool guitarist girl. Plus, they've got a message. What's not to like? No, sorry, it's not for me. Huh, <sighs> alrighty. You're the one missing out. I'll have them all for myself then. Mmm, interests starting to change. Ooh la la, oui oui non. Having an amazing tour. Having an amazing shopping tour with my Mary, the best friend of all times. That's conflicting with... Mary, just shut your freaking mouth, okay? Ah, so are we gonna tell Symes that Cassandra's still best friends with Mary, or have they broken up? This one is a pretty obvious one, because all we have to do is take the chronologically most recent one, which is this one. How sad. Yeah, Mary, broken relationship, broken friendship. They're not dating. <laughs> but they went to Paris together last year, April. Yeah, they were still really good friends, and she was still... Her hair wasn't dyed here. No, this is Mary. This is Cassandra. Still, my point stands. Her hair wasn't dyed. And then slowly, she started changing, but we don't know why yet. This doesn't really tell us why. Oh. Ah, another conversation. Hey, did you hear about the Freedom Plaza bombing? Yeah, don't remind me. You know I have history with that place. Already fucking me up enough that I have to catch a bus from there every day. Too many bad memories, and now I was just there moments ago before this happened. <sighs> Should have never gone to that damn protest. 
darling. You don't need to justify yourself to anybody, especially not to me. I was so happy when Goldfells accepted me into thought. I desperately wanted to go, to prove my worth to the cause. Think of it this way. If you would not have gone to the protest, then you would have never been wrongfully indicted, and then we would never have met. Yeah, and I wouldn't have been called a terrorist in all the papers. You're not a terrorist, okay? Ain't I? You sure? Yeah, pretty sure. Oh, damn it. What? Your card's not working here. Can't buy anything. Have you gone bankrupt or something? Unless you went on a serious shopping spree, there should be plenty of money on there. I guess we'll have to go without wine then. Uh... Here's the thing. I've got an important appointment tonight. It's surprisingly out of schedule and I can't postpone it. You've gotta be kidding me! I'm very sorry, darling. We'll see each other tomorrow. You always have an appointment! Appointment here, appointment there, appointment every fucking where! How can you constantly do this to me? Darling, please, just calm down. Have you taken your methorin? Oh. Yes, damn it! Is that the only thing that matters to you? That I'm on my fucking happy pills all day? Darling, please, it's nothing like that and you know it. So I keep my mouth shut whenever you leave me hanging. If I don't show up at this appointment, I risk losing a very important client. Fine. Don't you understand that? Oh no, I totally understand. Don't you risk out losing that very important client of yours now. Cassie, don't be like that. I get it. I guess I'm just not an important client anymore. Oh, come on, Cassie. Going home now in case I'm getting up on that priority list of yours anytime soon. Please. And that is it. They got into an argument. See, remember that the card. His card doesn't work because Symes disabled it. Methorin. Happy pills? Huh. Definitely important information. What's this methorin? Can you look that up for me, please? That's probably on their official website. I was so happy when Goldfells accepted me into Thought. Goldfells. A group named Thought. Yup, the activist group probably. An activist group called Thought. Interesting. Maybe this is what influenced her. And who is Goldfells? We should find something that shows her current attitude and see if we're following the right person. Yup. She catches a bus from Freedom Plaza every day. Ah, huh, that kind of decreases the chances that she's the bomber because she goes there every day. She didn't just show up that day. Meaning her presence there before the bombing could be coincidence after all. I'll reserve my thoughts until you find more evidence. Yeah, this lawyer guy is so shady. Immediately, when Cassie said that there's not going to be any wine, he's like, uh, I gotta go. What a creep. Anything else? That's it. The thought. So let's go back to... Yeah, Watergate Pharmaceuticals. Methorin? Methorin. Antidepressant. So she has depression. Huh. I wonder if her adverse attitude toward the assault is actually worth anything then. Perhaps emotions were high if she's reliant on this medication. Looking at what you've extracted so far, we're dealing with a potentially dangerous personality. I will indicate that to law enforcement. Yup, so now we see that our actions are directly creating consequences. The thought. If liberty means anything at all, it means the right to tell people what they do not want to hear. George Orwell, ho ho. Who is this? The thoughts are free! Hey! Remember the German folk song? The stanza, the thoughts are free. 
blog. Yeah, Cassie mentioned writing a blog, right? Oh, it's that guy. What's his name? The guy from her timeline. What's his name? Harrison O'Donnell. That's the guy to be paying attention to. Anyway. Freedom is unfree. By Cassie. Casarthus, yeah? One article. Contact. Yep, we already know about all this. Mm -hmm. Freedom is unfree. It's cams. Cams everywhere. Even at the Freedom Plaza. Is it just me, or is that more than just a little bit, I don't know, ironic? You probably all know me as either that blue-haired punk bitch, stupid cunt, or anti-governmental terrorist. These are only some of the names I've been called during the criminal investigation against me. That was just because in the middle of the chaos, someone believed to have seen me hurt a police officer. It never even occurred to anybody that it wasn't me. We were there because we wanted a peaceful protest. We always have been against violence. We don't know what it conflicts with. One would assume that in an age where there are cams everywhere, it should be easy to prove whether I was at all involved or not, but it wasn't. It took weeks of investigative custody to figure out that the cam footage was actually not clearly showing anything at all. Which raises the question, why are there so many cams in the first place? The answer is, intimidation only. You keep calm, quiet, and careful when there are cameras around, or you fear that there are cameras where you cannot see. When founding this blog years ago, Abraham predicted pretty much this for all of the web, and now it's in our real lives too. We have been brought to the Freedom Memorial since we were kids at school. We were told lavish tales about the founders of the nation, told to show national pride. And I know what you're thinking now. This thing is damn ugly. What is a donut even? The let freedom ring? But the statement behind this ridiculously enormous heap of stones should be clear. In the middle of the capital, there is a symbol of freedom. Comprehensible symbolism for everyone, isn't it? With the cameras there, this is now the plaza of unfreedom, if anything at all. She has very strong feelings about governmental surveillance. Which is, uh, I wouldn't fault her for that. Oh, there was a link. Goldfells. Who is this guy? Are thoughts still free? I propose to consider the question, are our thoughts still free? While this might seem to be a surprising question, in our current world of ever-growing digital surveillance, freedom of thought is no longer self-evident. Dear reader, there is a German folk song called The Thoughts Are Free. It goes like this. Thoughts are free, who can guess them? They fly by like nocturnal shadows. No man can know them, no hunter can shoot them. With powder and lead, thoughts are free. Yep. When I was still young, long before I immigrated to the nation, I believed this to be a universal truth. Yesterday, a question crossed my mind. If the increasing interconnectedness of humans via modern technology serves more and more as a collective memory and brain of our society, and there is an institution that is capable of monitoring every bitstream of it, how can thoughts still be free? Is it not likely that we will communicate only under great mental reservation to hold on to our knowledge, which means, as a final consequence, we will stop thinking? When I think of the increasingly aggressive operations of surveillance machinery in the nation, I truly fear the answer to this question. That is why I created this blog. I want to encourage alternatives to the total control and safety bigotry of this digital world. Yours truly, A. Goldfells. He's not wrong. He's actually completely correct. Look at me right now. I have access to information on every single person in this nation. I can't release it freely, but nonetheless, I do have access. The government has come to threaten this with real name policies and shit. Save your IP so they can look up who you are. Don't say anything wrong. You're right, man. This was written in 2012. He's very happy to have a follower. <laughs> there is spam here, okay. That was entry number one. 
So Goldfells, who is this guy? Administrator. Huh, we can't find out any more about him. Oh. This is all private? Oh. Hang on. This is all private. It's all been privatized. Huh. Alright. So the only thing we can see is the first thing and the last thing. We need to find out more about this Goldfells, dude. Articles 5. Hasn't logged in since December 2016. What else can we look at? We have a picture of him. We don't really have a real name, though. Cassandra's timeline. Oh, she updated today. Ha! Huh. Finally someone who had the grit and explosives to show how futile surveillance is. Wow! Conflicting with... Yeah! So now, today, Cassandra's updating her timeline, being like, Yeah, yeah, violence. Awesome. But back in September 2016, that's not what she thought. And we should put in the new one, because that's what she thinks now. I suspected as much. Seems we're looking at the right person. Alright. What we found so far is all good and interesting, but I think we should be searching for something a little bit more concrete. We have to dig deeper. Yeah, you're right. More conversations? Juliet Carrington. Who is that again? Can we see? Relationships? Contacts. Juliet- oh, it's the person who gave her her nickname. Hey Cassie! Hi, Jules. Cassie, I just wanted to know... Your post on timelines about this assault. You really shouldn't write something like that. Really, Jules? You're not gonna preach to me about this stupid post, are you? No. I just want to know what's wrong, Cassie. It's nothing. Just between the two of us. I just had to let off some steam, you know? It's because of what happened, isn't it? Yeah, and lots and lots of other shit today. This bombing stirred up all of this crap again. You know... What I did. What did she do? What happened there wasn't your fault! Cassie! Holy crap! Cassie! You hurt that officer to save me! And you succeeded! You mustn't forget about that! That was so brave! How could it not have been my fault, Juliet? I smashed the freaking skull of a father of two children because I lost it! Fuck, fuck, fuck! Who knows what would have happened if you didn't stop him? And this is why you should really remove this post. I feel like an asshole. The worst kind of asshole. I might be free, but not rightly so. I'm not innocent. Oh, Cassie. Nobody is innocent. You'll have to let go. Oh my god. What does this conflict with? The thing right below it. She didn't just hurt that officer. She smashed his skull and he's still in a coma right now. Oh my goodness. Even her attorney doesn't know. That's really big information. What? She openly admitted to such a violent act? This is perfect. We can arrest her and open the investigation again. Very good work. The intervention team is already on its way. We'll need to wait for confirmation. See, there are some ethical problems here already. We got this information from a private chat log. Things she was saying to her friend that she never thought would be found out by anybody. That's why if you use mobile texting apps like WhatsApp or WeChat or whatever, all of them started displaying this message that said, Ooh, all of your information is encrypted. The government can't see this. Blah blah blah, right? Because this is a real issue even today. 
In Ms. Watergate's case, it was not a problem to get her address with the help of local police due to her former record. Well, we can open the case again, but it doesn't mean she's the bomber. It just means that she was the one who injured that officer. Oh, she's gonna ask her, who did she... I thought about what you said. Maybe you're right. I should take that post down. Too late. It'll be better, believe me. Wait a second. Somebody's at the door. Oh, it's the police. She's not coming back. By the way, how's your boyfriend? You're still together? You haven't been talking about him all that much lately. Well, not as much as before. Hello? Are you still there? Cassie? I'll inquire if all went well with arresting Miss Watergate. You did a good job in any case. Although we have no proof that she's involved with the bombing, we might be able to question her. And without a mission of guilt, she'll probably serve some time. Okay, I just received confirmation that she is now in custody. Very good work indeed. I'm curious about this thought group though. Whether they... Oh god. <gasps> Two dead after second explosion! No, no, no! Take a look at the news! Breaking news! Two dead after second explosion. That's horrible. Two dead. Similar approach. Same letter found. So these assaults are connected. And as if that wasn't enough already, Miss Watergate was in custody at the time. So that's her out of the picture. At least for this attack. Ha. Huh. This complicates matters massively. So much for our simple test case. I need to go speak to my superiors, see how we are to proceed given these extenuating circumstances. You did good today. You can log off and get some rest by clicking the button on the top right of the desktop. Try to get some sleep. I have a feeling the next few days are gonna be trying at best. Oh man, okay, let's read this first. Second explosion at Stelligan University. Two dead, three injured. Same letter. Bonton. The area was evacuated immediately. According to yet unconfirmed statements, the city administration office of Bonton received an anonymous letter just minutes prior to the detonation, which again contained the first three stanzas of the German folk song, Die Gedanken sie frei. The thoughts are free. Exactly like the letter received before the assault on the Freedom Plaza yesterday. We will inform you of any developments on this event, as soon as further details are available. Man... Well, obviously, she's not- She shouldn't be the person responsible for the bombing. But the thought, this group here, I think it's pretty suspicious. But we should log off for the day. All uncompressed data chunks will expire. I think we're good. Yep. Mmm, we have a summary. Cool. Assault on Freedom Plaza. What did we learn today? There has been an assault on Freedom Plaza. We learned about an activist group named Thought. And there has been a second assault. Today, we investigated Cassandra. She's been arrested. But we probably don't think she's the one who's bombing people. And of course, that was the demo. So, to find out more, we'll have to wait for episode 2, A Place Where There Is No Darkness. Okay! You know what? That started out kind of slow, but toward the end, I really like how they made use of music whenever critical information came in. That was really good. Episode 1 is a little bit more of a tutorial, so episode 2 and on it seems like is where things are gonna start kicking in, and so far, I think the ending makes me interested in more of it. Who's really responsible for the bombing? Anyway, data mining and privacy is a topic that I find very interesting, so the theme of this game already appeals to me. And I think everything that happened here was really realistic. 
it's not at all something that you couldn't imagine happening in real life. So I hope, if nothing else, this is a lesson to everybody out there to keep your information not so public. Whether you assaulted a police officer or not, there is really no good reason to be so public with everything about yourself. See, I'm working for the government right now, so I'm not exactly a bad person, but if someone malicious had access to the Orwell system, then you can probably imagine that you would be in danger with all your information available to someone who's out to do wrong on purpose. So the next time before you post your full real name on the internet, any other super identifying details about yourself, pause and think about whether you really need to disclose this information. This is episode 1 of Orwell, and I hope you enjoyed watching it as much as I enjoyed playing it. I'll be on the lookout for the next few episodes, but I'll actually be away for the entire duration during which this game comes out. Episode 5, the last episode comes out on November 17, I believe. And I'm gonna be away all the way until the 16th, so even if I play the rest of it, it's probably gonna be a little bit after it comes out. Yeah, uh, this was Matter Wellens. Let me know if you enjoyed it, and I will see you all in another place, in another time. Bye!